I am Hatan, and I greet you also in the love and in the light of our infinite creator. It is a great privilege to be with you this evening and to share our humble thoughts with you. As you know, no matter what our subject may be, we are speaking of some aspect of a life lived in love. And we would choose this evening to speak to you of the art of hope. It is easy to confuse hope with faith, yet faith is blind. Faith does not have eyes that see, nor does it need them. Faith is an inner sureness and is an invaluable ally to the spiritual seeker. In no way would we discourage any from the cultivation of the facility of faith. For it is one of the great tools of learning available to you upon the spiritual path. Yet there are situations in which a focused vision has its place and is far more effective than blind faith. That facility is hope. Hope is the development of faith upon a specific area of intent or interest so that there is a vision which is developed which affirms all that is best in a situation all that is requisite in an outcome hope is that which while the eagle soars gazes towards its prey faith is that which causes the eagle to leap into the air the eagle has wings, yet it does not conjugate upon its flying. It hopes for its prey, and in its inner eye sees it long before the outer vision finds that which it seeks. It is well to refine your inner vision, for that facility of hope is a means whereby one may use one's deeper intuitions to envision that which is sought. This does not say that one attempts to predetermine an outcome. It is rather to say that through hope one may perceive a situation in such a way that the good can be seen and the rest can be seen to fall away. Just as in the eagle's eye, all that which is not the prey is seen, but is not registered as important. Hope has a way of clearing the mind, of strengthening inner vision, of pulling the cobwebs out of situations, of focusing that incredible strength within each of you which is will. Do you think that you know what you desire? Is that desire intangible? Then sharpen that facility of hope until within you, you can almost taste and feel and see that which is hoped for. Then allow faith to set you winging upon the air and open your inner eyes wide as you fly. Focus upon is that which you seek, is that which you truly hope. Your faith shall carry you, but where shall it carry you? Sharpen that within you that hopes, for hope is a valuable tool and never more valuable than when it seems unlikely that that for which you hope shall appear. Sad indeed is the soul which is hopeless, for faith alone cannot turn the mind to the goal of love. Faith has no direction, but is a facility which strengthens the spirit so that it may go forth and seek. Hope is the result of having found a direction in which to point the faithful self we hope for you that which you hope for yourselves. And for ourselves we hope we have been of service, 
and further we hope that we may continue to be of service to you. For my children, you have become very dear to us. All entities in the creation are dear to us, and yet those to whom we speak become especially dear as we appreciate the beauty of each vibration, the charm of each complex personality, the tune of each singer's song. We do not ask you to hope for a wonderful, trouble-free, careless existence. Although for some, this is part of the environment in which lessons of love are learned. In your density, it is to be expected by the very nature of the lessons that you have set yourself to learn that there will be confusion and difficulties. To put an end to those confusions is to limit your ability to learn the lessons you came to absorb into your very being. And yet we hope with you that you may penetrate the outer shell of experience and aim unerringly from the transformation which lie just the other side of understanding. How we appreciate being able to speak with you. We ask as always that you remember that we, like you, are hopeful seekers. Our feet dusty upon the path and our knowledge incomplete. Yet we serve the same Creator, and we hope with the same beauty of seeking and purity of desire that lies within each of you. We leave you upon the path, your feet dusty, your bodies perhaps tired, and yet your goal always in your mind's eye. We are known to you as those of Hatan, and we leave you upon that path, yet we are with you and shall be with you in hope, in love, and in joy. In the love and in the light of our infinite creator, we say to you, Adone, Adone Vasu Baragas.